That is true. But in that yeah. case, I, I figure Chumbo would be better. Or there's another one that's even better. If, if adaptable flanker is only once per encounter, I have another one where uh, I can give an ally my sneak attack damage on his next attack on a flank. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. That of one course, you could have not used it on the minion, but hey, don't get it. Okay. So the glow is sort of going to disappear from um, Fear's um, weapon and she's going to pull it back and pick it up with her other hand again. Sounds good. As you look at the burning building, you notice the flames have turned from standard to blue flames. Of course, I can't mm. show it in the actual thing, but imagine it as quite yeah. theatrical and intimidating. You've all seen oh. the cartoon of, um, oh, what the fuck, Hercules, right? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah, you know the blue flamed uh, Hades? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's like that, yeah. top of his head. It's blue yeah. flames. And yeah. then you hear a massive explosion going from the study. And pieces of shrapnel starts falling down. I'm not going to bother putting them on. And they are all, once again, in blue flames. However, a few months pass and all the flames suddenly dissipate and disappear. And you just see a burnt, scorched building. And the debris on the floor is now no longer on fire. All that. So we managed to successfully <coughs> cage in all the uh, the zombies. All but two, and the dogs. I think if there's nobody else, I was talking hidden. about the ones inside the house. The ones inside the house have not gone come out, so you can happily assume they are destroyed. <laughs> and you could look inside; you do see a lot of charred corpses. Um, Quick question. Yeah. 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 Do going, I know why ahead. the Do I know why the party's here? Just for out game you reference. You do. You know they are there to inspect the town. Excuse me, inspect the village because it all went quiet, and it all started after the mayor acquired a chest. You went after them right. to see if everyone was okay, and this is now what you found. Okay. okay. So we're sort of going to look at the burning building and say, well, the source is gone, but we just that can't have been the whole the whole village. There is still more to purge. Hmm. There might be, but that um, is not remember our concern the, right now. I remember the shirts. There were some some of the same drawings in the shirts as there were in one of the studies in this in the town hall. So I'm wondering, maybe the source of all this evil is there too. I'm I'm not sure. Um, do I know that this is a church of uh, Medon? Medon. Monday, sorry. You know it is a chapel, you can see that, however, yeah, you so chapel, never sorry. assume it is a uh, church of Mendor because Monday, they're yeah. not they're not man made, they always are made via the uh, forests. Nature, yeah. Yes. Okay, okay she sort of, she looked at AMA and says, uh, Are you okay? Because she saw the zombie coming in from behind and stuff. Yeah, I think it's okay. I mean, just some patching up and it will be okay. <clears throat> okay, she nods and she tries to detect um, any more zombies, I guess. That will, wait, somebody else do that while she's sort of focusing and trying to detect anything. Alright, uh, Garion has moved up to the party and he addresses all of you and says, You are the people sent by Lord Holdren, but you seem to be lacking one. Grr, who might you be? Unfortunately, she fell. I was also sent by Lord Holdren. He feared for your safety and hired me to come check on you. Mm. Lord Holdren does not trust us, I see. Well, our... What a foolish uh, man sending... I, I'm standing up looking intimidating. <clears throat> what a foolish man to think I need protection. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was meant for protection. I think it was meant to see if you got the job done or not. Well, Lord Horden, do not need to fear. We have successfully done our job. This place is cursed. And everybody lived, who lived here is either dead or dying. In that case, if you mind not, I will accompany you back to Lord Holdren so I can also report my success at the same time. Uh, before we do that, there's this chapel to the west that I want to check so, out. Clive, my, my raven is back there, so I can 
technically know what's going on down don't there. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, I, I'm, it's my own preference right now, don't fret. Okay. Uh, next to this chapel, there were some graves unburrowed. And uh, inside the chapel, there were some kind of dark, dark, sinister drawings on the floor and blood all over the walls. I want to find out what happened there. Yeah, vision or uh... yeah. I like Holy that. shit! Can you guys see that? Yeah, yes. we can see we have it on, but we can't see the actual yeah. area. When I move my character, you can see. I can see uh, that I have an aura on. I can Either see way, lots of brown. yellow. I can you see only yellow. You should turn that. How? It's not set so you can see it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I just went into my token and it says oh. aura one. Yeah, yeah, same here. Square. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna set it so you, you guys can't edit that bit anymore. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's quite alright. I didn't realize you guys would see it. It's for my own preference. Ah. Can you? Right, is it gone up. now? Yeah, yes. it's gone for me. Good, good. That was not. That's for me. That's my it's stuff. Me. <laughs> Only me, not you guys. Not you do it, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, you fucking precious dumbass. Precious <laughs> my ass. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this is what you guys can see. Oh, he can see. I can see. Yes, while they were talking all that, I will, like the detective I am, bend down and inspect the corpses. What kind of while looting at the same time? I'm checking if it's a soldier or a farmer or a girl or an old man. You know, just a general. Okay, you're the at one you're checking, you can tell that's a dog. It was a pit rottweiler. This is obviously a sheep dog at one point. Ah, realizing what the fool I am, I stand up and check this one. Is there? <laughs> well, you're a bear, so it's kind of your kin, you know. Like, what kind of type is this? That's an animal, I mean. Oh, whatever. Okay, you can tell these appear just to be ordinary-looking citizens. You know, very commoner-like. Except, of course, now they do appear to be quite undead. Okay. Uh, he dead. I think the term is. He dead. For an undead that's been killed, I think re-dead is the correct term. Yeah. Or it's even deader. Alright. Well, I guess... Um, I don't want to go into detail with it, you can just tell me later, but I'll loot whatever corpses is near me in this vicinity right here. I'm not even going to bother going close to the house, and I will stay around until it's... it's um, until you can walk into the house. But you already said all the fires burned out, but how about the heat? Uh, oddly enough, even though it's pretty warm and you could tell if you like to walk on the woodwork, there's a chance of it breaking and you sort of slipping through if you're too heavy. Uh, it does appear like it's safe to go through. And you managed to find four silver pieces you know, in total around all the dead uh, yes. human bodies. So oh, shit, I have fucking. How did I get so much gold? <laughs> we kind of screwed Clive over last session, and he gave us lots of gold because he said wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, shh, don't tell him how much gold we have. Wait, what? We have? I thought he just gave us two times of gold. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But, I mean, Clive said wrong, and then. Yeah, I you said four. The, I meant yeah, to like... say fourteen hundred gold, and then oh. I accidentally said fourteen thousand. Oh wow! And then you're like, oh, and, uh, whatever the DM says, you hey, just got to play. I, so I was like, oh. I didn't. I, I, didn't get, I, I didn't. I don't remember that. I'm bothered. <laughs> I remember. I didn't remember uh, until I looked in the shop as well. So don't worry about it. It's well, quite right. I'm not that think, bothered. It's fine. No. I will go in and check if the chest is burned down. Yeah. Uh, Thea, can you come over here and check if there's something wrong with this wound I have on my shoulder? She can do a religion check on me, right? Yeah. Sure. Or, yeah. Or he'll check um, one of the other, really, depending upon what you're trying to make a check. Uh, at any rate, you walk in and it's quite, you know, broken and you're sort of like trying as you might. As you're walking up the stairs, they even sort of break by your sheer weight. You just manage to go up and you see the chest does appear to be sort of scorched and completely burnt. And uh, there was a very weird sort of ash marking all around where the chest was last there. So you can. 
Uh, uh, actually, roll for... Ah, uh, fuck my butt cheeks. Roll for something. Roll for perception. Saying if it has anything to do with magical properties. Yeah. And I read up on it. I'll tell oh. you quickly so everyone knows. If you're not trained in a cana, you can detect uh, magic to discern if there's magic around you or if it's a magical item. But you cannot uh, figure out um, what do you call it? Like charm magic. So magics that works over several rounds. You can't. What do you call that, Daniel? Um, Five. That's consistent or sustained. Yeah, consistent. Yeah. Yes, you can't detect consistent magic if you're not trained in a cane. Okay. Mm. All right. Anyway, can you roll perception? I've just decided. <laughs> yes. Perception. Okay, you can tell about that. that. Definitely was the origin of the explosion, mm. where the chest once laid. That's good enough for me. I will then make a jump into the air and go through the floor like a tapito down to the first floor. <laughs> you... <laughs> you want me to roll the jump? <laughs> no, it's quite alright. You do that, no problem. Okay. <laughs> okay, Fear can tell from just scanning the cut that it is pretty deep for them quite well into the, uh, you know, shoulder as it were. However, it doesn't appear to be infected right now, and it doesn't appear to be really bleeding that much, to be honest. Yeah, well. yeah. nice. Garion's gonna she, move she up. She actually has it. nothing to wrap it up with, so. No, 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 I will use some healing search as soon, so it's no problem. Yeah, I mean, well, no, she, she has, like, no bandages, or she would wrap it up, or any cloth and stuff, but. Yeah, okay, she's sort of gonna ask, and it's like, you said the. Um, you said there was. The, the blood circles in the, the, the church, the, the chapel. Yes, inside a town hall, in one of the rooms, there were some odd ritual-like circles. She, she nods and sort of interrupts you, and I, I saw those. And uh, when I, I, earlier I checked the church just to see what, what was going on, it looks, and inside the same markings, and a lot more blood was, was present. I didn't check any near it because it felt pretty airy. When I exited the church, I noticed that the graves were... Uh, man, what's the name again? Up Doug? Doug uh, up? Yeah, yeah it's Doug up. As if somebody had escaped from the graves. She, she, she nods uh, solemnly. Mm. Right, with that in mind, because Tenon is taking a piss. <laughs> uh, Garion, what are yeah, you so doing besides that? that? Uh, that's that's really what I wanted to do. I wanted him to walk up to the human undead corpse, say what evil could have caused this, and try and get a grip of what's going on. Mm. Ah. Well, you are from here, if I recall correctly from your backstory, are you not? No. No, you are not. However, you've still heard the stories of the Black Dragon. There was always rumours that Black Dragon would fly across the land, and then undead, either weeks, days, or hours, would sweep you know, the land it just came from. Uh, and it, there's rumours that it came to this part of the, you know, or it came to this island, and it's starting to do the same thing. Okay. So, yeah, so I, I roughly know that there's an evil spreading. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But do you still say that? Because they will actually reply and tell you. Yeah, he still says it. Okay. Uh, can I reply now, or should I wait for Amy to... It's my matter? turn, actually. Yes. Well, uh, uh, one response is free to respond to what people do well, in turn. She's, so. she's, she's going to basically explain the whole thing with the chess because she knows about it. But, mm. So, she says uh, the, a soul of a necromancer was bound to a chest. Out of the mayor opened it and uh, the village rose up. And she sort of spits on one of the corpses <laughs> and growls like an animal. Yeah, and he'll just sigh in return and shake his head a little bit towards the corpse. That's all he's doing. Mm, that mind so, is now Aemir's turn. So, Lord Hel Holdren sent you, right? Yes, he did. Uh, did he have any special me message for, him, uh, for us, or anything of importance? He did I, not. Did. He okay, did. I understand. Right. He purely he wanted not. to he just, get checked He just on. sent me to make sure you completed the mission. And what and is your we're name? Safe in doing. I am Garion. Garion. Yes. My name is Eamir. I will tell you my last name, but you wouldn't be able to pronounce it. That's quite all right, friend. It's a pleasure to meet you. 
Me too. Uh, what say when our um, companion comes back from the from inspecting the building? We will go over to the chapel and see if we can find some more clues there. They already kind of pieced together some of what might have happened in this village over the last past years. I am interested to, this. to see how this, this happened too, so... Yes. I mean, we, might, we do have a pretty good idea about what have happened, but uh, some things are still a mystery to us. I will accompany you if you, if you do not mind. I do not. <laughs> the assistance will be welcome if we are going to first this place without an army. Yes. He nods. Cool. With that in mind, Mark, are you back? No, he's not. 10 seconds. It's, it's a long, long 10 seconds. Hi, right, there he comes, I think. Just wait. Sounds like it. Yeah, it sounds like, it sounds sounds like he's used a bottle instead of an actual toilet. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. TF2 sniper style. Ah, there we are. You exit the building or do you want to do something else? Ah, uh, yes, I exited the building. Okay. And okay. Uh, walked over to the new guy. And since you said he was here to uh, to assist us so you could claim the reward as well, I want to give you a handshake. Alright, Garion will happily return your handshake. Uh, Fenon, yes. this is uh, Garion. Yeah. A suspicious fellow. What is your profession again? I'm a sorcerer by trade. Sorcerer? Interesting. A lost magical person did not go so well with. A bookcase fell over. It was a I'll sad sight to behold. I'll try not to argue with furniture. <laughs> yes, as we shake hands, I, uh, I say I'm tenant. I deal with traps and such. Pleasure to meet you, tenant. Pleasure to meet you, Gary. So, uh, Tenon, we were talking about going to check the chapel. You're okay with that? Yes, let's check the chapel. Let's move. Alright, that might Just give me one now... second, Gary says aloud, and his raven flies over to him and lands on his shoulder. It's going to be deactivated now. Ah, so it disappears. No, it sits uh, on his shoulder. On the there. Man, oh. I was thinking of. That reminds me of a pirate, pirate with a parrot on his shoulder. <laughs> yeah, except it's a fucking huge uh, raven. I know, but you know, the imagery. Yeah. Arr. Um, Clive, I'll use uh, two healing searches to heal to full health. Yes, that you know. Sounds good. Yes. And then we'll start moving to the west. Yes, it is now Fia's turn. Yeah. Okay, she's just sort of, yeah, her, her weapon is still out. She never, you know, tied it back. And so she is just going to stalk over there. Five, six, seven, and uh, pull two stick. Two, two actions of movement. Man. Would you like to roll perception? Oh, well, never mind. You don't need to roll perception anymore. From walking up closer and closer, you definitely notice there is a sign by the front of the chapel, and it says Temple of Mendor. She is going to be. Very surprised that there's, you know, an actual built temple of Mindor, who is, you know, the nature god. And so she, yeah, she'll be surprised, and then she'll start frowning in there. You can see she's, you know, working up a bit of a rage here. <laughs> that in mind, it's now Tenin's turn. Yes. I'll snarl a bit. Because my teeth is hurting. I haven't bitten in any bones for days. Is there any bones on the dog that's uh, not filled with rotted flesh? <laughs> there is a bone or two, but you can probably clean them to ensure there's no rotten flesh on it. Alright. I will grab hold of it and uh, I will kick the joints or wherever to release the bone from the corpse. Okay, with a massive click, you hear it sort of snap off and then you have a bone in your hand with a bit of flesh on it. I will take a look and uh, say, do we really have to do that now and here? Do what? And I'll shake, and I'll shake my head and you'll start walking away. Yeah. Yes, continue. I am uh, moving somewhere around here, I think. Alright, sounds good. I'm gonna chuck the bone into my, uh, somewhere around my belt or my shirt, get it into my body. 
next. That's not weird. <laughs> no. It is now Garion's go. Okay, he's gonna move. Right. Using both his actions, he's just going to move up to here. Alright. Amy, what are you doing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I will stand next to Thea and I will say. Is this not strange? In all my knowledge, I've never seen a man build temple to Mendo. And I have even been in a, in a temple of Mendo that was built by nature. This does not feel right at all. Um, fear yeah, sort of just, um, and the thing is she was raised in a monastery to Mendo. So, yeah. well, a monastery to Mendo and Mendo's husband. So, wow. That would that's, have, a, that's a built building, but well, will it be a built building? It or not? was not. It was a massive okay. structure in a forest. Okay. Yeah, it, she she matters that it, you know, it has allowed for them to, to work at Mendo to build a structure, but to allow it to become come become to this is beyond redemption. Indeed, this is sacrilege. It's now Fia's turn. She nods angry and okay. She is going to, you know, stop forward and shove that door open really roughly. <laughs> and you know, walk inside. That's about three steps of moving inside. Alright. I shall move you. Um Oh yes, okay, we have a bugbear, me and Aomer are elves, and then okay. we... I was just wondering if you were like, if I, if it was easily visible to see what race you all are. Yes, yes I'm elf. Uh, yes, it is, however, Tenon is quite convincing at trying to tell people that he is actually just a, um, human. Oh, <laughs> human, yeah, yes. so you wouldn't know, uh, if you want to, uh, to look at checking. me and you find it strange, you can go ahead and roll perception. Well, no, if you're bluffing, it would be against inside. Yeah. Uh, I'm... Oh, yeah, I think so. You could probably see that I have... I don't know, how do you go about with that? Because it's not an ability to hide my true self, but... It's no, but not. You're Basically, he can look at you and think, that's a pugbear. However, unless you turned around and said, no, I'm a human, and you're trying to bluff your way, that's it. I haven't yeah. asked what everyone is, I just wanted yeah. to know if I could get an idea and of what they are if, by looking. If you look at Tenon, well, you would case, think he's a bugbear. Yeah, bugbear. Mm. Okay. Okay, this is freaking strange. I have somebody so, yes. in my Switch chat who has now spammed me a link. So I now have a spam bot in my chat. <laughs> spam him! No, not spam anyway, him. Anyway, there's this guy, uh, J, JJ Whip, he's looking, he's interested in D&D, and sort of wants to know how it works, so... When we do stuff, we can probably try, if you want, we can try and describe stuff a little bit more to help them out. Sure, I don't see why not. Not not too much effort, but, you know, make it a little bit more obvious what we're doing and stuff. Of course, yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. With that in mind, um, as you step into it, guns are blazing, you see a very beautiful looking chapel, very neat. However, it is essentially someone just got like a bucket of blood and have thrown it everywhere. Okay, and, it does actually look like a, a, and writing uh, as, uh, on it. Yeah. It doesn't look like, from what she can tell, it doesn't look like a, 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 a what's it, a sincere temple to Mong. You would have to roll. Guessing would probably be perception. Yeah. Because she's still looking at it. It's not much else. But it's still pretty good. You can tell that this was very well built and is very high quality. It was, you know, really sort of top ends shit, essentially. Okay, so this, so but they they actually built it to Mon. They, they sort of didn't pick her up as a random goddess and build it. No, it was top. definitely picked to Mendor. Men, Mendor, sorry. Yeah. Mm. sorry. Mendor. I have a different spelling, so. Sorry. I guess. <laughs> Not quite sure. If Mendor is the same. Yeah. Okay. You're just using a different pronunciation. Okay, she is sort of going to start to stand there a bit, and like half between outrage and half between shock. 
that this is happening. That'll be it. No. Okay. With that in mind, it's now Tenon's turn. Uh, you can look for me. Do I have enough movement to get in there? I'm just gonna double move to get after him. So you can just move in. I'm just gonna say, uh, you can move in just fine. <laughs> Drag your character. Oh, well, actually, I'll do it for you. There you are. Yeah. As soon as I get in there, I'm uh, gonna have a look around. Oh, I'll start off with perception, probably. Okay. And what are you looking around for? I'm looking around for suspicious creatures hiding in corners. Suspicious creatures hiding in corners. You yeah, don't see any creatures hiding suspiciously no, in the corner. <laughs> no suspicious beasts hiding in corners. There is none. However, you do faintly see in the distance a figure standing by the altar. Oh yeah, because I was really looking at the building. Very, very faintly. You could just sort of, you think there is definitely someone there. I'm gonna put my huge furry hand onto Thea's shoulder, you know, really close to the neck, so she can feel all the hair along the neck, like kind of tickle tickle. And I'm gonna point with the other hand up there towards the altar, just silently standing there. Okay, so can I spot this guy now? Because I didn't spot him earlier. Uh, da, da, da. yes. Sorry, okay. I forgot. All right. You can both saintly see a figure by the altar, and it's quite far in. Yeah, so? My apologies. She's just, she's not going to, to, she's immediately going to start rushing forward, but I will do it in my room. Just like she did with the, the guy behind the window. Mm. Okay, well, and at any rate, it is now Garion's turn. Yeah, right, on. okay. I'm gonna move inside, follow them inside. Mm. If you'd like to move your character yourself, I would appreciate that. Oh man, but I'm zoomed so far in. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, I just zoomed in even further, derp. Derp, 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 derp. Yes, 120 above 50. Alright, that was my raven that I just got moved in. Me next. Right. <laughs> Okay, after he steps in, he's going to look around, notice all the blood, and just kind of say, What, what kind yeah. of travesty happened here? When you move in, you'll see me standing there, um, doing what I described earlier. You'll still see me pointing in that direction. Okay, so I'll look in the direction he's pointing in. Do I see the figure? You faintly see the figure, yes. Alright. I'm gonna hang back and wait for the others. Because I don't want to approach a potentially dangerous figure. Cool, cool. It is now Aemir's turn. Sure. I will follow. Uh, wait a second. Garen did when. Did, uh, went inside, right? Or did he not? I didn't follow. Yeah, Garen's gone inside. Yes. Okay. And I'll follow the others inside. Two. Mm. Alright, if you want to move your character in the right spot. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Wait a second, can you... Oh, my mouse died. Sorry! <laughs> Have to change battery. Alright, I will move it for you momentarily then to... Yeah, thank you. ...allow the flow to stay flowing. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, uh... Sorry about that. <laughs> and it is... There you go. Let's see. Character downstairs. And I will move here as my second move. Alright. As you move in, you start to see the figure a bit more clearly. That's all, really. Can I tell if that's human blood or animal blood? It definitely. You, have to roll a n nature you probably check or? have to roll nature. Yeah. Would it be hill to tell for blood? Um, there is nothing. Hmm. I would assume 
I'll just say I roll nature. Really I think nature. it's a nature one, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. It's like nature to recognize tracks as well. Mm. Yeah. 30. Ooh, you can definitely good. tell it is human blood, among other things. Can I tell how old it is, or is that impossible? I mean, uh, you like can tell <laughs> it's dried as a yeah. certainty. It's definitely dried. Yeah. Who is uh, this beast coast that keeps linking me to when I try and go to you on your Twitch link? Huh? Yeah, that happened Maybe to me. Sorry, I got it wrong then. <laughs> it's, it's Templar Warden, just so. Well, they've got random free publicity. Yeah, I can't because of my fucking fraps recording. Uh, anyway, oh, it is a uh, uh, Tenon's turn. And canal some more. In a really we're, we're low. We're on the same wavelength here, mate. <laughs> Growl and angry. I'm growling angry, but very soft and. Um, not very loud, like a kitten. <laughs> so, AME are moving and like up ahead. Is he walking towards the figure I saw in the in the very end? You do uh, see that, yes. Alright, is there anything else in the room, like anything you can hide behind? Can you tell me about the inside? Okay, you can see in the distance that there are sort of benches and in the center round here, I always forgot to fucking add that, there is a large um, sort of random altar-like thing or a counter that has dipped in water. So you know, you can, like wash your hands or do something like that. And yeah, and then in front you can see a bunch of benches, much like, you know, a normal church, if you will. I don't think you've washed your hands. Hands in it. <laughs> yeah. So this this yeah. this is where the the the, the sort of basin is. Yeah, mm. basin was. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep, exactly. What the fuck, guys? Yes. Perfect, you know. <laughs> We're all gonna die. Does it look like this? Huh? Yes, it does. Uh, yeah, we, ca we can't see if he's looking at us or if he's, his back is no, to us. No, you just or... see a random figure. Yeah. So there's a little right. bit dark back there or something. <laughs> Your drawings are beautiful, mate. Yes. <laughs> oh, it does give a... Your drawings and five people singing this is like perfect. There you go. Yeah. He's wearing okay. it, though. Mm, he appears oh. to be wearing the exact same clothing that a priest would wear. Yeah. Mm. What would a priest of Mondon wear? I'm gonna whisper to uh, Robes. Yeah. Um, to DM or to ask? Because you can't whisper to ask. <laughs> what was that? You're whispering to the DM and guessing, okay. Oh no, I'm whispering you. I'm, I'm whispering, like proper whisper. Hey, do you think he's, uh, do you think he's friendly? We are like 50, uh, 25 feet away. It's a long way to whisper. Oh, you. Yeah. Sorry, I'm getting really confused because you're the swift in the other one. My gosh. My brain doesn't work. <laughs> oh, my brain. I'm sorry. What did you say? Repeat again. It's all right. I'll, I'll change it to swift. Tenon. Swift. Oh gosh, it's gonna get really fucking confusing now, man. Basically, he hey, leaned over you... to you and asked you, do you think he is friendly? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, she'll sort of growl out of the side of her mouth, I doubt it. But this is still quiet. Growling yes, elves. This is very obscure. I don't like this. I'm gonna... You're gonna... Wow, they're so far up to him. In that case, I will double movement. Yeah, imagine it a double thing, so it was sort of heat of the moment build, so you don't need to worry too much. Right, I'm gonna double movement behind whatever it's there. That is a candle sort of on a stand, you can't really hide behind that. Oh. Yep. I'll Sorry, try to anyway. You try. And somehow you managed to succeed. No. 
<laughs> Due to the style of the wall, technically they wouldn't be able to see you. Alright, I'll end my turn there. Alright, what is Goran doing? Garion is going to move up to the altar and take a look on top of it and just look at it, everything that's there, oh, what including looking... what's inside the basin. Right, okay, that's you, an altar? You just, no, it's a basin. You just oh, basin. see uh, right. water and it appears to be flickered with blood. Because you can still hear them from outside. And there's a raven. <laughs> Ravens yeah. don't chirp. Yeah, raven. No, they don't, but hey, there's a raven. Yeah, okay, so I just see water with a little bit of blood in it. In that case, I'm gonna shrug it off and just kind of. I think. How far was that? Oh, yeah, that, that was a double movement, so I will wait. So, don't you start here? No, I started um, diagonally. I mean, you, start, you started there, right? Yeah. So, uh, Down okay. left from. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. So it's 45 feet, and that's a double yep. movement. Sure. You could have run, though, Alan. <laughs> yeah, I could that's have run. Bad. That would have made that's a better. lot of noise. True. Anyway, it is now Aemir's turn. Just imagine it. So I'll go <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Stand there. Okay, you can tell that it's definitely a priest standing there, and he's just sort of staring out at you. And he appears to be have very strange, um, demonic bat wings ripped into his back, and they appear to be quite heavily bloodied. Hmm. Well. Shit. <laughs> I have my weapon at ready. If should if something should happen. I mean, you know. And I end my turn. Alright. As you sort of do that, he looks up and then actually finally seems to truly pay attention. And it suddenly takes flight. It sort of moves across the altar and is now standing here. However, imagine it actually flying a couple yeah. feet in the air. Uh, guys, we are kind of fucked here. And can we see this? From, you can, can see him move? flying in the air with its wings sort of keeping it hovering. Okay, so we get the silhouette of the wings, okay. Yeah. And they were demonic wings, right? They were definitely, they were like bat. Bat, oh, batish. Yeah. Okay. Sia is going to use her movement to run, so it's uh, nine movement, nine squares, and she will move her another, and she'll run again to there, All right. and she'll be snarling the other way. No, snarling a little bit actually. Nice. That, that, that was overdoing it. <laughs> Yeah, so she turned her standard movement into uh, her standard action into a run, and that's my turn. Sounds good. Uh, would everyone like to actually roll for proper initiative now? Initiative, yes. Okay, so that's one D10 plus three. Holy crap, we got uh, critical, so that's a twenty. Nicely done. I don't know how that works with initiative. Well, it doesn't. Level. It's yeah, just I high score. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I go first. Uh, yeah, I would run it from my campaign that, you know, a critical on initiative means you go first regardless of the guy ever gets like a bigger modifier or something, but that's me. Unless two, <laughs> two people get a critical and then yeah, yeah. you have to take then the modifier. Highest modifier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I need to move my initiative onto the thing. Oh, shoot. I should do that. Well, I guess he had his bow ready, so hey. Yep. All right. So you see this weird demonic zombie-looking priest floating, staring at you. What's the range of my goddamn weapon? What is it? Ten to twenty. It. Well, what is what? The monster? The bow. The bow, bow is a repeating crossbow. Oh, you should find it. I think it's twenty ten. Yeah, no, but 
I'm wondering if I'm using it a long range or if it's inside my short it's range. It's 1350. It's 3050 for a normal longbow. So that I, is. I, I, I got a repeating crossbow, so it's not a normal. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm just I'm just wondering if it's the, the same range or not. No, oh, it's that 10, 10, 20. Okay, so ten would be. Yeah, so I that, that's minus ten. So you're you're in long range, yeah. So minus, you get the minus two. two to hit because yeah, yeah. But I also get plus oh. one for prime shots. I'm guessing, right, Clive? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's minus one then. My question is, why does your roll say one d twenty k one plus eight? Oops. I think, yeah, I don't know what Keep that one. Is. Right. Oh, right. Okay. At All any right. rate, that is a 21 versus AC, so that is a hit. The damage is 16. And I want to keep that damage. And I also had Hunter's Query on him, so yes, to be true. You didn't get... say it. No, I pressed Sure Shot without knowing it. <laughs> actually. I, I hit wait, my wait, macro wait. without re actually watching, so I don't know. Wait, 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 is that like a daily or something? Hmm? 3d8, massive. Nice. Yeah, I know. So yeah, with okay. that in mind, it's now 10n's turn. Okay, then I'll use a mine reaction and put Hunter's Query on him now. Yeah, that's yeah. why I added I, it. I always years. do this. Yeah, yeah well, I'll put, I'll put it on him afterwards. What's that I have so, around me? Yeah. What's around you? Did you say? Yeah, what's around me? Right now, all you can see is a stand with a candle on top. The way it looks, but maybe not as big. Oh, but what's the square you made around me? There isn't a square around you. Okay, that's weird. I have one of mine. Never mind. Um, move out in the open. All right, you and see, I see the guy flying. You see the guy flying. He is currently hovering in the air. With uh, an arrow sticking through his chest. Yeah, I'm guessing I could see my teammate shoot at me. Mm. Uh, sh I'll fix that macro right away, so it's correct. By the way, uh, normally, yeah, the K in the in the roll is keeping uh, the best results. So, sorry. Yep, I will attack him. Toss a shuriken now. You toss a shuriken, alright. That's long range? That is 65, so that is 10, 11, 12, 13. Is the range sufficient for that? I thought it was 5 to 10. That's what I was thinking. Let me check that. You can still throw it, right? But he gets minus more. <laughs> I'm not talking about it. Thank you, just went quite far enough. Yeah. So, 6-12. 6-12, wow, that's one space. Well, yeah, it's what, still one space, I'm afraid. Well, ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> no. Don't he get a negative 4 being on the edge of his range? Um, no, you can run it like that, but I think if it's just beyond his range, it just doesn't hit. No, it's not beyond his no. range right now. It's uh, at this range, the longest, uh, the longest possible. Uh, I don't think it does. Uh, I'll just do negative that. twelve then. All right, yeah, not negative twelve. Negative negative 12. Two, Whoa, then. negative twelve. Negative <laughs> twelve. You only hit on a crit. <laughs> yeah. Even. No, it's just negative two at the edge. So, of do you want to uh, attack him then, Tim? Yes. You roll for damage. Yeah. I can actually move two squares before the attack, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Get up here. Cool. You are now sort of partly, uh, partially covered by the bench. Yeah, 21 versus 80. So that is a 19 due to the negative 2 on the throw. That is a hit. He takes 8 damage. Mm. Nice. Takes a shuriken. With that in mind. These are the same shurikens that killed the giant freaking brutes on the island. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> nice. With that in mind, he is pretty much just going to keep flying there and sort of 
squeal and shout and growl at you lot. Mm. It would appear he's sort of like struggling to move. That is now Garion's turn. Right. He is going to move up here. And can I ready a ranged basic attack so if he gets within 50 feet of me it goes off? Sure. Okay, he does that then. Um, so anywhere past this second cube or this line here, if he moves in here, my attack goes off. Just a quick question, when are we bringing Alex in? I yeah. already have a plan, I'm sort of waiting for you guys to right, okay, hurry cool. it up based on this video. Yeah. It's now okay. Fia's turn. Okay, she will, you know, seeing that this thing is you know, evil, was well, she's just going to, um, for her full movement, she will sort of, um, she'll grasp her, her, what's it, what's it called? Um, hold, yeah, she'll grab her holy icon and then sort of growl at this guy and like, burn for your desecration of this place. And she will, uh, yeah, use the Iranian. Uh, Radiant Vengeance, so it's actually perfect. Radiant Vengeance is freaking the best, but that's pretty poor. Against uh, Will. Will, that yeah. is a miss. Okay, cool. Damn it. That was fail. And she is going to Oath Nizzy in 5. I don't think he is, so she can't. Okay, she can't do that. Is that the summary of your turn? Um, can I check to see if there's sort of some. Uh, um, you know, holy presence holding him back. You said he was struggling, right? Mm-hmm. Can I just check if there's some more holy or unholy presence holding him back? Roll for religion. Mm. You can tell that the humanity still inside him. It's currently fighting. It, it's, it, it's as if um, his body desires to move and attack. However, there's just some weird force keeping him from actually moving, and you can tell the force is sort of like the better half, and the part that wants to attack is the undead presence. Mm. Okay, uh, that's the end of my turn. Cool. It is now Aemir's turn. Actually, under her breath, she'll mutter, uh, you know, to defeat the beast, you must become the beast. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> okay, go on now. Um, just be, give me a second, I have to find my range. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I have to stand... Would I hit him for normal damage, for normal attack roll to stand here? What, 50, 10? Uh, that is a yes, I would yes. say. So I can stand here, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Well. So I'll move up here, so I have partial cover, mm -hmm. and I will fire my two fang strike. All right, first is a hit, second is a hit. So that is twelve, twenty-one, plus, plus three, three, which is twenty-four, and my hunter's query, which is plus two. So that so is twenty-six. All right, basically, what happens is. You just shoot him a great deal with your arrows. The first one yanks him in the stomach, and then he, of course, fidgets from the strike. And then the second one hits him in one of his wings. And then you see him sort of collapse to the ground from a great height, because, of course, he was flying. Now he can no longer keep his weight, and he rolled the ultimate unlucky roll. As he falls, he lands on his face, and you can hear echoing throughout the chapel his neck snapping. That was interesting. So he's dead. Mm. Anybody want to go and check the body? Or maybe not? Uh, are we going to run initiative in this one or just keep going? Because, yeah. Now you can just go. Fia yeah, will yeah. just move she straight forward and she will just send one of her blades through its head. Yeah, and you know, glowing with you know, uh, you know, radiant power. Just you stabbed. sink your blade through the back of its head, and you can hear the scorching of the undead yeah. flesh and the dark soul emitting from the wound. And she says, "Mond," uh, she sort of call, you know, prays, uh, "Mond, pure, or however you pronounce it, purifies flesh." Mendo. 
Mendo. I'm sorry. Pretty much an emo girl. That's very interesting. Mendo. Okay, so I got my writing my, my writing wrong. So I wrote emo <coughs> in the yeah. Uh, so I need to correct that in my character sheet. Yes, <laughs> Mendo. Thank you very much. Such uh, fails. By the way, Clive, is there any other doors in this uh, building, or is there is it one on the left side of the altar? Okay, and nothing else. Nothing else. Door-wise, nothing else. Okay. And there's some windows, right? I guess. There I are, mean, yes. However, yes. they're too high up for you to really sort of see through them, and they're all, of course, smothered in blood, and also they were stained anyway. Yeah. So, what did you have on her? <laughs> loot her. As you loot it, it is not a she, and uh, it had a letter. Hmm. A letter? What does it say? Click the letter open and read it. As you open it, you see it written in blood, and it says, Tell Helenor I love her. What did you say, her now? Helena. 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 Okay. Helena. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> that would be very much painful, yes. It's a shame. You hear this sound? Like this? Yes. As I just throw it away. Here. Could you tell what's wrong with him? The, the, his nature was conflicting with his... I am supposing his uh, radiant soul. Radiant soul? As looks in, more, looks more like a know, demon. Being a cleric, his, you know, his, the, the radiant soul of being, you know, being a cleric fought mm. against his undead nature. I see. So does that mean that these creatures retain their, some of their humanity at least after death? She, she, she shakes her head and says, no, they're the beasts, they are aberrations. That may be so, but if his radiant soul was conflicting with his nature, does that not necessarily mean that the souls of all of these creatures remain trapped inside the bodies? None of them hesitated before. And no, look at his body, he is dead. Even mm. if his soul somehow returned, he would not live through it. Yeah, if his, his soul is... returned to power, he would not live through it. I do not want him to live, I just wanted to know if there was something else going on with these as opposed to just being seemingly necromantic creations. Well, they were not dead before they were turned. They were alive when they were turned. We have figured that much, I, I assume. I Is there see. anything on the old Go ahead and keep it. Just hide it. What were you saying? Okay. Roll perception if you want to see what's on the altar. Mm. Okay, let's have a look, see. So this was the town priest, right? It would appear so. Yes. Mm -hmm. Karen, strange. Like to... It's so strange they have a ch chapel for Mendo. And even a human priest... ...carrying that... Does he have a kind of chain or something that shows him as a symbol of Mendo's? A holy icon, thank you. He has an amulet as a symbol of Mendor. There's a symbol of Mendor. Hmm. <sighs> you say that's strange, but what's really strange is that none of them fled <laughs> after what happened at the mayor's house. Puny, foolish humans. Ha ha ha. Well, we know one person survived. Uh, he managed to get back to. Yeah, let's damn it, damn it. Wait, 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 wait. Thea suddenly, like, you Lost grabbed it. her attention. Wait, one person who survived. Yes. Don't you remember the guy who was Did unconscious? We see his eyes. No. But didn't we check for something wrong with him? Okay. Huh. She, she sort of looks very concerned. Who survived? You have to. Jolt my memory there. There was one man who survived, and he, he reported that the, the village had, you know, what did he even say? I cannot recall. He said that the, he told he told the Lord Holdrem, who told us that the mayor got a chest 
at one day, and after that something bad happened, and then he fainted. Uh, I guess he was smarter than the rest of them sticking around. And he has been asleep ever since, and this was a I'm couple of days, I think. I'm also concerned. Hmm. I say we first check the room to the left, and then... We burn this place. Yes. It's stolen. Karen pipes up and says, I assume the door to the left leads to the graveyard we saw outside. Or ah. to the priest's personal quarters. Uh, yeah, uh, of does course, the priest have... breaks everything for us. Yeah. Doesn't he yeah. have a priest? I mean... Enough random chattering. I'm gonna go over here and kick the door <laughs> open as I say that. <laughs> you kick the door open, you and once you open it, you see a bunch of opened graves. Mm. You can tell you've just opened the door to the graveyard outside. Doesn't the priest have a quarter? Oh, yeah. Or doesn't he not have any? I don't know. I can see you do not see any other doors, as I previously mentioned, but that yeah, one. Yeah, I know. I know. The chapel of this size probably then. won't have quarters in it. Yeah, Where do the um, priests leave them? I don't know. They have a house of their own. In yeah, okay. yeah. So we walk outside to the graves then, I guess, to inspect them even further. Yeah, we'll go yeah. outside. Ah, ah, ah. Couldn't find ah, a colour of blood, them, though. Give a shit. It should be right. Only yeah. Tenon saw this, so there's no yeah. point showing it to all of us. I just no, wanted to do it anyway. <laughs> don't worry, I have You're in mind exactly what's going to happen. Don't okay. forget about this moment, guys, because it's gonna come back later and bite Helene. And yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll run so. Okay, so basically, you are have just wandered out to here. Yeah, mm. up here. Yeah, that's where the entrance was, and you just open it and you see this. Hmm. As I said, the graves have been dug up from the inside. Mm. There are far more graves here than undead. There are more. They've left the, left the town already. Well, we have been attacked several times throughout this adventure by zombies, or at least I have been. There might have, some of them might have come from this town. Well, they might have come from others. So that is my worry. Yes, we need to go back to Lord Hell, hold him, and warn him of this dark stranger. And, and she'll sort of just walk amongst the graves and checking in each of them. Yeah, before checking I'm inside the graves to make sure they're empty. Yeah. Yeah, well, she's just looking down. She's not going to, like, reach in. Yeah. You just see sort of mud in an open casket and things like that. Broken open Before we arm. move out, we have yeah. to check the rest of the house to see if any more survivors are here. And they are is broken. You... What is broken? The caskets, yeah, the like he asked. Oh, okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Where is the entrance to this house? That one. Uh, down here, there I guess. Is, there is a back entrance that you can see. Okay. Okay. This endeavor we'll just seems kick the door point in. pointless. Who could have survived this attack? You kick Never the door know. in, and then you see what would appear to be a sort of bath house slash. Uh, I don't know. Special yeah, it says you like a Roman bath house where everyone would go to bathe and shit. So they care about hygiene in your world then? <laughs> Very good of them. They Very appear good to them. care about it in this village. Well, specifically in Chemrio, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there anyone alive moving about inside? <laughs> you do not see any bodies or any person. It's the building appears to be completely intact and untouched from the undead. Okay, so no one was bathing while this went on. We can assume. I'm gonna, you know, just do a quick skim and a search of the house in all the rooms and walk out in this way I'm going that I'm gonna follow him I'll go inside this house then alright um, you open yeah, the door yeah we will head up into here but I'll message the GM that stuff okay. okay you open the door and look in and what you see is a house <laughs> it looks perfectly untouched perfectly fine and you notice you know there's two beds and a crib you know, bookshelves and, you know, simple little home. Once again, untouched. Oh no, Clive. Not dead more dead presence. babies. Shut up, Meg. <laughs> I don't know what I said. Well, I'm not a like a dead space reference or something. Yeah, Seems baby so. demons. Yay, nice. That would be very nice. 
Alright, and since I haven't got any other message and no one has to do any rolls, um, you see in this room a very small looking house, there is only one bed, you know, there's not even any walls to, you know, split apart anything, and you see sort of like a living room, a kitchen, and a bed. Once again, no blood, no corpses, as if it was untouched. I remember I was attacked by a zombie from this house, I wanna check inside here. You look in, and you see essentially um, the same thing. You notice a living room, bookshelves, sort of windows coming in, things like that. And you notice a wall coming in right here. 